Alpheus by your own. Yes? You were 20 days past your deadline for this quarter's tribute. Your collector has transferred your case to the Roman office. Are you able to pay your tribute penalty now? I filed an extension in the month I'll of... Take it as a no. By decree of Quintus, honorable praetor of Capernaum, I will remand you into custody. I'm very sorry. I didn't realize. Turn around. Sir, I didn't realize. May I request an extension of just five days? Ah! 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 Oh, this? Who is it? Everything's fine, Elisheba. Please, I beg you. <laughs> and then I have... He's not here. I can settle this, Lucius. There's actually been a mistake. What do you mean? You told me to come. I'm aware, but I realized the timelines were miscalculated. I will clear it up. Thank you. You miscalculated. I received inaccurate information, and I it's being corrected right now. I will handle this. It would be best if you went to our next house, and I will meet you at the booth in one hour. Are you? It isn't prudent to discuss this right now, Abba. We don't have first the shame of your choice, and now you're actually my collector. Matthew, what are you doing here? Your son is our Publicanus. Matthew, no. He sent a soldier to your home. I'm sorry. I didn't want you to know. I didn't choose this district. You chose this job. The Romans never forced you into it. You chose to apply. You chose to betray! You chose a secure future. You were called to trust in Adonai with all your heart and not lean on your own I have trusted! Understanding. Can you name one thing Adonai has done for our people? In a hundred years? Five hundred? you! A traitor and a blasphemer. Well, you owe your government two months of tribute. I will bring in a payment by the end of the week. You've missed two payments. I was hoping Lucius could convince you, but I will no longer protect you. I don't want your protection. Then you have 24 hours, Abba. Don't call me, Abba. Elvis, please. What? Ellie, cover the windows. Put on your veil. We will sit Shiva for seven days. I have no son. Hello, Ima. Or, or, or uh, Elisheva, I mean. <laughs> Hello. Matthew. I don't receive visitors myself. Is this a custom? If your father were here, I couldn't do this. Where is Alpheus? I think a dog followed you. He's with me. He'll stay out here if you let me in. Stay. Will Alpheus be home soon? He is away. On a work trip. Where will work take him? Does he no longer make leather goods? His shop was robbed. Many of the shops have been. Crime is rampant, makes it very difficult to reopen. He loved his shop. But we still have a roof over our heads, which is more than some people can say. You can ask me for money if you ever need it. How can you say that? It's quite common. I've seen many parents entirely dependent on... Your father would sooner die than take your blood money. I know you are ashamed of me. But your decision is irrational. 
Rome will continue to collect taxes no matter what. I'm skilled with numbers. Did you come here to justify yourself? <gasps> no! Everything's like sand. And they flood. The things I thought I knew to be true. Are you in trouble? Do you think that impossible things can happen? That overturn the laws of nature? That cannot be explained? That is what people asked when you were a boy. Even the rabbis were astonished at your talent for reading, math, the way you could think faster than any other child. They thought you would be someone great. Great at what? I'm rich. I have an armed escort. I'm trusted by the Praetor of we Galilee. We never dreamed you would use the talent God gave you to bleed your people dry. But have you ever seen anything miraculous? Not you. My whole world. Everything I thought I knew. What if it's wrong? I think you should go. You never even asked about your sister? She looks well. I came to celebrate Shabbat a few weeks ago. But then I left. Goodbye, Ima. See the Parthian foot races last night? Darius ran like a gazelle. Jews don't go to foot races. Your old friend Simon himself used to run the wagering tables. We're not friends. Next. Okay, fine. So you did not go to the races? You stay home? I went to see my mother. Ugh. That would put me out, too. She asked when you're going to give her grandchildren? She didn't ask. I thought your parents don't speak to you. I had questions I couldn't ask anyone else. A mother of a son with talent like yours should be proud. She's ashamed that I could use the talent that God gave me against God. Next. You're good at something. You found a way to make a living doing it. It's that simple. Must be nice to live in a world so simply ordered. We live in the same world, Matthew. Next. Besides, what else are you going to do with a mind like yours? Matthew. Matthew, son of Alpheus. Yes. Follow me. Me? <laughs> yes, you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. What are you doing? You want me to join you? Keep moving, street preacher. Do you have any idea what this guy has done? Do you even know him? Yes. Listen, I said to... What are you doing? Where do you think you're going? Guys? Let me go. Have you lost your mind? You have money. Quintus protects you. No Jew lives as good as you. You're gonna throw it all away. Yes. I didn't get it when I chose you either. But this is different. I'm not a tax collector. Get used to different. I'm glad we passed by your booth today, Matthew. 
Yes. Shall we? We have a celebration to prepare for. You will regret this, Matthew. What's the tablet for? I grabbed it without thinking. You can put it back. No, no, keep it. You may yet find use for it. Where are we going? A dinner party. I'm not welcome at dinner parties. Well, that's not going to be a problem tonight. You're the host. Hello? Elisheva, who is it? Roman. What's wrong? What happened? What did it mean? Follow me. That is all he said. Matthew did not hesitate. Follow him where? Look, I'm sure he will come to his senses. <laughs> his senses. Do you know my son? Do you? At the moment, he believes this man to be a prophet. The man that healed the paralytic at Zebedee's house. I would be careful with that word, healed. We do not know what sort of trickery or illusion may have been involved. Matthew has no interest in illusion. Nor in your God. Or so I thought. Matthew upended his life to be with him. His wicked life. He does not make decisions lightly. That is true. When I saw him two days ago, he did not seem himself. For I never would have guessed that he was preparing for this. He asked me to deliver to you some of his personal effects. With an eye in heaven. The key to his house. Luxury bought off the backs of our people. I will not accept it. He suspected as much. Sell it. Give it away. Burn it down. I do not care. Don't burn it down. Oh. The other is just outside. Matthew. What? Why? Matthew said thieves forced you to close your business. Yes, but... And you've been taking long journeys for your business. Yes. I have all my permits. Don't you get it? The roads are dangerous. Your wife has left for long periods of time alone. People with bad intentions hate him. I... How does it work? One last thing. If you hear from him or receive any word of his whereabouts, contact me immediately. Is he wanted? Not officially. But if Jesus of Nazareth returns to Capernaum, the preacher would like to question him. And it would be in everyone's best interest if you contact me. We understand. And uh, I just want you to... Well... I know some people that were mildly fond of your son. Mm. <laughs> Alpheus. Son.
This is good. Thank you. Not really. Our current batch isn't very good. I've been traveling and I haven't had good wine, so this is fine. How were your travels? We'd love to hear more about them. They were good. Thank you. Are you sure? You've lost weight. Have you been eating enough? Um, I used to eat too much. No, you didn't. You looked healthy when I saw you. I hope... Ellie. You said it was good. I like your beard. Mm, thank you. How did you handle sleeping outside? I'm better at it now. I'm proficient at making a tent, and I've also learned how to strip bark for dry wood. Philip is my friend. You have a friend? Yesterday, my rabbi said that every time we pray to God, we must ask him to forgive us our debts. And I recognize that I owe quite a debt to you. Matthew, you don't owe us any money. The debt isn't material. Yeah. I hurt you, and I hurt our community. And, and my rabbi also said that before we lay a sacrifice at the altar, if we know a brother has an offense against us, we should leave the sacrifice there and go be reconciled. Uh, of course, only priests lay gifts at the altar, and, and, and you are not my brother, but uh, this example is in many ways a metaphor which I'm learning. And yes, Matthew, we get it. Move on. I never understood why I was so different from everyone else. I just wanted a comfortable life. You wanted to be better than everybody. Okay, yes. No. You're right. And I loved affluence because of it. I was comfortable behind bars in a boot and the armed escort behind the gold door. All the while, you were scorned in that synagogue. You lost your reputation and friends. I shamed our family. I turned my back on our people, and I believe the choices I made were better for me and more important than my family and faith. That was selfish, which is wrong. I, I, I didn't understand that then, but, but I do now, and I'm sorry. I, I wish I could take back the harm I caused you. I, uh... All right, all right. I, I will search for something I can do to atone. Matthew, sit down. I prefer to stand. Please. I don't deserve the courtesy. You're not the only one who must atone. Are you hungry? I lost my business because of you. And you are correct. We lost our reputations and friends. I know. But I had no right to reject you as my son. God should strike me down for the things I said to you. I was shameful. Can you forgive me? I only made things worse. I'm sorry. We're sorry. But what, but what has changed? I sinned. We saw him too, Matthew. We heard his sermon. He is the teacher you are following. <laughs> yes, he called me and I... And you have already atoned. They were the most true words I have ever heard. Some of it shocking. I know, I wrote it all down. You are a scribe. Yes. You will <laughs> redeem our family's name. Matthew, he chose you. To this day, I don't know why.
You say you always felt different from other people. And you are... You were set aside for something special. Thank you. Thank you, Ima. Say it. Thank you, Eva. <laughs> Alpheus? What? Forgive him. I did. No, you didn't. You must say it. I forgive you, son. Thank you. Thank you, Abba. Thank you, Abba. <laughs> <laughs> How long are you in Capernaum? Uh, I don't know. B but I promise to make amends as long as I'm here. You have. Ah! Uh -huh. Wait right here. I'm glad I didn't throw this away. I will never live in that home again. So what? Give it away. Tear it down. Burn it if you want. Why would I do that? You'll find something to do with it. Till then, you can take any floor in the house. <laughs> <laughs>